let's take a look at uh, the database backup. Wenchin Backup and Recovery version 6.5 now support backing up three uh, databases, MySQL, MS SQL Server, and uh, Oracle database. For MySQL database backup, the table on the left showing the versions that we, we support and also the operating systems that we have tested, including CentOS, Linux, 6, 7, and 8. Debian, Linux, and the Ubuntu Linux are also tested. But currently, MySQL for Windows is not supported. Um, the backup granularity of uh, MySQL is on database instance basis. And uh, the backup features for MySQL database including full backup, incremental backup, and log backup. Some advanced backup options, including uh, data duplication, data compression, and backup speed controller are enabled with MySQL backup. The restoration of the um, MySQL database, including override database restore, red redirect restore to new path, or rollback transaction restore. For Oracle database backup, it's based on the Oracle RMAN, the Oracle Re Recovery Manager utility. We support Oracle 11G, 12C, 18C, and 19C. And Oracle database can be based on Windows Server 2008, 2012, 2016, and 2019. For Linux, uh, for Linux based deployment, uh, we support Red Hat Enterprise Linux and CentOS Linux 6 and 7. And Oracle database deploy deployment can be single instance uh, deployment, uh, uh, cluster deployment. The supported backup mode, including full backup, incremental backup, differential backup, and archive log backup. And there are some advanced backup, uh, backup options enabled uh, with uh, Oracle database backup, including data deduplication, wrenching data compression, uh, Oracle compression, and multi-threaded multi transmission. Um, as for Oracle database restore, you have options to override database restore, uh, new database restore, rollback transaction restore, and also multi-threaded transmission is available for Oracle Database Restore. Um, for MS SQL, uh, SQL Server Database Backup, it is based on the VDI, the Virtual Device Interface. Supported database version, including SQL Server 2008, 2012, 2016 and 2019. For the Windows Server version, also from 2008 to 2019. As for SQL Server for Linux, it's currently not, not supported. And the supported SQL Server deployment, including standalone, failover cluster, and the always on availability groups are all supported. The supported backup mode for SQL Server, um, including full backup, differential backup, and transaction log backup. Also, some advanced backup options are enabled for SQL Server, like data deduplication, wrenching data compression, SQL Server compression, um, database integrity check, and page checksum uh, verification. And the backup granularity for SQL Server is uh, different with MySQL and uh, Oracle. It's on the database basis. To restore a uh, SQL Server database, you can override database restore, new database restore, and uh, rollback transaction uh, restore if log backup is available. I'm going to 
show you how the database backup works. I'm going to uh, use uh, MS Sec Server. Before adding the uh, database backup agent, you need to install a lightweight uh, backup agent uh, inside the uh, database server. And after that, you will be able to add the agent to Wenjin backup server. And after that, you need to license the database backup agent. And uh, then you need to authenticate the database instance. I'm going to use SQL Server authentication. Okay. Uh, now we are able to perform database backup. Here, um, as I uh, just mentioned that the granularity of the MySQL, oh, sorry, SQL Server uh, backup is on the database back basis. So you can select, select the desired database to backup. It's not, it's not like the MySQL and Oracle database. You need to do the backup on the database instance basis. And the next, you can enable full backup, differential backup, and the log backup. And here you got data deduplication, compression, and here are also some advanced strategies, including checking the database integrity uh, before backup. And uh, you can also enable SQL Server compression, but this is uh, it's, uh, not necessary because the data compression on Wenjin side is uh, already enough. And uh, by if you are going to enable the SQL Server compression um, for some uh, uh, database servers, is if the performance server performance is not so good, and uh, it might slow down the uh, database server. So it's not recommended to enable this. And for the page checksum, it can be used to uh, guarantee the database uh, backup. The backup. Uh, the backups. Uh, um, to enable the backups um, are not damaged during the backup process. And the next, let's just submit the creation of this job. And we can simply start the job to test. Okay, it's already done. And then let's see from the history job tab. As we can see, the database size is around uh, 75 megabytes, but the written size is only around uh, 13 megabytes. And we only enabled uh, Wenchin data compression without enabling the uh, SQL Server compression. And except the database backup, the full backup, we can also uh, run a differential backup and the log backup. Let's start log backup. I think it's done. It's already done. And as for database restore, you can select the um, from the uh, log backup, and you you are you are allowed to do the transaction uh, transaction rollback restore. And here is the, the time range that you can roll back the database. And after this, let's just submit the job. And it's already running and uh, completed. Um, so that's uh, the database backup and restore feature.